Welcome back, Captains. We're down here at the New Smyrna boat ramp, and as you can see from this time lapse, it's a busy, beautiful day. There's probably about 20 or 30 people hanging out here, taking a look at the views and some of the mishaps that are about to happen. Now, let's take a look at this Tahoe coming in. They're going to give an example of how to do it right. The proper procedure for one of these boats is one stands at the front right before you come in, then you kneel, and the one in the back always sits. That's just the way to do it. And then you take your hero cape off and you're done. Simple as that. No mishaps. Nice and easy. And it's not always like that. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to get yourself dipped in the water here, especially when your trailer's small. You did the right thing and lifted up the tailgate. That makes it easy. I think that boat identifies as a personal watercraft. So we're going to put some focus on this one here. Now somehow or another he inches over and gets real close to this other side. And that's not where he's supposed to be. Everybody was hollering and telling him, get out of there, this guy's going to hit you. You can see you could put another SUV and a ski between there. You'd be alright. Now they get it backed in looking good, trailer depth looks perfect, and that's not too bad. But I want you to watch the guy up here, and he's trying to tenderize his elbow. Oh, look at that. Let's take a look at that replay. He's got his arm right between that roller and the bow of the jet ski. You get your hand caught in between that elbow. It won't hurt, it won't cut it off, it'll just... Yeah. I don't understand that. You're going to go home and wash that thing out anyway. Going in there, firing that thing off. Well, the next contestant here is this guy with this little inflatable. He does his thing out here doing circles and loops and whoop de doos There he goes. Look at him. Making donut. Now, if you saw on either side, over here and over there, the dock is empty. And even though this boat is small, this is our ramp camping champ of the week. He gives the dock a little kiss. Look at that. There it is. That's it. Job done. Whoa. Nope. Just kidding. I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm not sure if he's super hydrated or if that floating dock threw him off. There, he does good. Whoa. He's a little unsteady on his feet. Kind of reminds me of when those little giraffes get their first legs and they start walking. I'm going to call this one here the ramp camp referee. Look at her. She's coming in right here. She sees that boat camping. And then watch this. Says not on my watch. Look at that. Oop. I don't know what kind of knot that guy tied, but whatever it was, it was the opposite of tie lock. Let's take a look at the execution here on the HD replay. Look at that. Perfect form. Just kicks it right off. He really didn't tie it off. It was laying there. He sees his boats floating away, so he decides just to park right there. Look at that. Yeah, 
I'd do the same. You want to get out and get your boat, and that boy doesn't end up in the middle of the lagoon. Yeah, it is. But I want to give you guys a credit card captain tip of the week. If you're blocking the ramp on one side and you're blocking the ramp here, just tie it off here. Look at this. This guy's going to get in here and bring it right back over to the same spot he was in. Now he's claimed his spot and he's not giving it up. Now take a look at the ramp camp referee. She's out there doing another circle over here. Doing a full reset. This guy does the same thing. It looks like he's tying some type of a knot there. We're going to have to go down and check it out. You can place your bets in the comments, figure out what kind of knot it was. The last one, it was probably a slip knot with about a half inch tail. Well, there he goes. That dock's giving a little bit of trouble there. Keeps his balance real good. And there we go. Getting those land licks back. It's always difficult being in small boats because you can get seasick pretty quick. All right, let's go take a look at this knot right here. There you go, not too bad. All in all, clean boat. Got a cooler in there. Yeah, there it is. These guys are going sideways. All right, let's get back to the action. He's still got to back this trailer in, and this is the Smyrna Serpentine. Let's take a look. He's up there staged just to the, off to the middle, and here he comes backing in. The Smyrna Serpentine. He's slithering around like a snake. Look at that. Repositions. Comes in left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right, left, right. I want to come down and make sure he didn't need a hand here getting on. Looks like it's good. Whoa, what is that? Looks like he's trying to collect for one of them school fundraisers. All right, he's on. Well, every day comes to an end here. We're gonna take a look at one last one over here. Now these guys come blasting in here. The whole thing is an idle zone and there's no wake supposed to be in here. And there's a little boat right there in the middle. Those guys are locals and they live out on their houseboat. And these guys rattle that boat, rocking it. There they are, look at them. And they're hollering out and seeing their boat going all crazy over there trying to figure out what's going on. I'd be aggravated too. Ain't no need for that. Just slow down. There's sea turtles, all kinds of life in. Just slow down, like it says. There's all kinds of sea turtles and life in here. Dolphin, manatees, and other people's boats. Don't be an idiot. Now he can't find a cleat that's right in front of them. Now he can't find a cleat to tie off to. He's got to grab one of these mangroves. Nowhere around here. This is this is that. idle speed. This isn't even no way. No way. It's, it's idle. idle speed all the way to the bridge there. And then pass all like the way. Yeah. The dolphin or black dolphin in or whatever. Look at this. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's why I hate launching here and going to the island or something. And then he ties off to the mangroves. That's awesome. And he's breaking sticks off of it. Snapping mangroves off. It's, some people got freaking bald. Yeah, imagine pulling up here and FWC just sitting right here. Oh, right that'd there. be perfect. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching, liking, and subscribing. If you want to see some more of these videos here. I missed. Did you holler at him and tell him slow down? No, I told him to get his kid off the front. Oh, yeah. You know they pass that. All that. Yeah, your kid would have been Check out the link in the description. You get some merch. I got some t- If you haven't subscribed to our group, check it out on Facebook. I'll put links in the description. I'll see you guys soon.